What's up guys, welcome back, it's Lei. From March 29th to April 30th, SpaceX will launch 6 rockets and in total, 26 satellites into space. Yes, you heard me right, 26 satellites. 20 iridium communication satellites into the low earth orbit, 2 communication satellites into geostationary transfer orbit, 3 R&D satellites as well as 1 commercial resupply mission. This surely must be the rapid reusability Elon has been talking about, right? Well, no. Far from that. Rapid reusability refers to using the same booster without refurbishment under perhaps 48 hours. This capability has always been compared to rapidly reusing passenger airplanes. For example, on the 18th March 2018, a JetBlue aircraft departed JFK Airport at 9.04 am to reach Los Angeles in the afternoon. Merely one hour after its arrival in Los Angeles, it flew again back to JFK on the same day. Two trips in one day. If this is not enough, another JetBlue aircraft departed Santa Domingo at 7 am, arrived in Orlando two and a half hour later only to take another trip to Washington, then to Jacksonville, back to Washington, leave for Windsor Locks, back to Washington again, and finally caught its day in Boston 12 hours later. Seven trips in one day. Now, will a rocket ever be able to perform seven trips in a day? I doubt it's gonna happen anytime soon, but you get what I mean. When Elon mentions rapid reusability, he's talking about using the same booster again and again in a short period of time. And it's not the case currently. Although SpaceX is launching six rockets in a short period of a month, they're launched by different boosters at different launch sites. But I'm not here to, to, to complain about it, because the situation is about to change. Taking a closer look at the launch details and you'd realize that SpaceX is launching its Falcon 9 Block 5 in April next month. If you have watched my previous videos, this one in particular, you'd know that this is a big deal for SpaceX. Falcon 9 Block 5 marks the end of development for the Falcon 9 architecture. This means from April 2018 onwards, most of SpaceX resources will be allocated to developing the BFR. This also means that Falcon 9 Block 5 will be the main vehicle used to achieve rapid and complete reusability. Now, is it going to be achieved in April 2018? Of course not, but it's going to start in April 2018 and that's definitely something to look forward to. But then the question comes, so what if SpaceX achieves rapid reusability? It's not like SpaceX are launching rockets every day. If there aren't enough customers, SpaceX won't be rapidly reusing anything, right? Well, you're right. But in this context, the phrase rapid reusability actually becomes quite misleading. People tend to focus too much on the increased frequency of launch rather than its implications. But let's consider the benefits of both. I can think of at least three scenarios where the increased frequency is pretty damn awesome. The first one is the Mars trip. The Earth and Mars launch window opens every 26 months, which means every 26 months we have the best opportunity to send vehicles to Mars at the lowest energy requirement. Therefore, in typically two month time, you want to send as many trips to Mars as possible. Considering the orbital refueling and sending facilities and equipments to Mars, there really aren't many trips left for human passengers. The second scenario I can think of is the Earth to Earth transportation. Putting aside its feasibility, the BFR will be capable of taking people from any city on Earth to another city on Earth in under one hour. So I would imagine its demand to be pretty high and the BFR will be launching as frequently as possible to keep up with the demand. And the last scenario is Starlink. I talked about it just a few weeks back. SpaceX is going to send around 12,000 satellites into the sky in 10 years time and rapid reusability will be a crucial part of that project. Lastly, it is also important to know that the same reason which caused rapid reusability will also cause the price of launch to drop drastically. Imagine being able to launch the entire year's worth of payloads with just one booster. Well, that's exactly what Falcon 9 Block 5 is able to do. In 2018, United Launch Alliances has eight launches in total, and theoretically, all of them can be sent by just one Falcon 9 Block 5 booster, instead of using both the Atlas V and the Delta IV. 
not only will this lower the cost of launch, it also saves money for you taxpayers. But this is not the only benefits of cost reduction. Reducing cost per launch will also be a critical enabler of Mars colonization, saving money to invest in building BFR, learning crucial lessons to build a better BFR, and getting one step closer to SpaceX and Go, which is to enable people to live on other planets. That's why we reuse a rocket. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, like this video if you enjoyed it, and wait for it. I'm Lei. I'll catch you guys in the next one.